Welcome back to this web series where I read fan fiction about the Jonas Brothers that I wrote in middle school. Last episode, we figured out that Abby is in love with Nick and she just met him five hours ago. Let's continue. When I was still sleeping, someone shook me. It was Mike. Dude, get up. I sat up and rubbed my eyes. What time is it? About 9.30. I ran upstairs, showered, changed into my long bikini? Only! Okay, I was like, there, what's a long bikini? It's the only bikini she has, apparently. I lay on my bed and looked through my songbook. Picking up my guitar, I tried to find the right words to describe my life. It was so hard having no friends at school and harder during the summer. Frustrated, I dug through my head looking for the right words. Eventually, I found a few words, but they were knocked out of my head by someone knocking on my door. Come on in. Nick walked in. Hey, Abs. Hi. You guys ready? Yeah. He looked at my bed and saw my songbook. Before I could grab it, he ran to my bed and began to look in it. I stood up and tried to grab it, but he was holding it too far away. Nick started to read a song, so I had to do something fast. I jumped off my bed and ran onto his back, causing us both to fall. Looking up, I saw that Nick had landed on top of me. We stared at each other, not breaking our eyes away from each other. He smiled down at me, and I smiled back. I heard footsteps coming down the hall, so I tried to get up. Nick didn't hear them, I guess, so he pushed back down and laughed. That's not okay at all. Don't... If someone tries to, if you're, if you're laying on top of somebody, and they're trying to get up, let them up. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, oh my god. I wrote this in sixth grade. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> Abby, Nick, you guys ready to go? Me and Nick got up. I felt blush creeping across my face as Kevin stared at us. Kevin glanced around the room nervously. Yeah, I'd be nervous too, Kevin. I feel you. Nick rubbed his neck. Nothing. We're just playing. Oh my god, okay. I grabbed my songbook and a guitar. Come on, guys. The river awa awaits. Yeah. I walked downstairs and onto the porch. Joe was standing by a tree with a guitar. It must be Nick's, I thought, as me and Joe said hi. Joe must have seen my songbook because he grabbed it. I mean, this family is just not polite in this story. I growled, not wanting to have to jump on Joe, too. Nick got up and took the songbook from Joe. She almost killed me this morning when I took it. He handed it back to me. They learn from their mistakes. I smiled. Thanks. No problem. Joe and Kevin sat on the other side of us. We chatted and laughed for about an hour. The sun was starting to shine on us more, so I took off my shirt and shorts and jumped into the water. I came up and saw that the boys had jumped in the water, too. We acted like little kids, splashing water at each other, jumping on each other, and pulling each other under the water. As we played, the current drifted us down the river. We got out of the water and walked back to our spot. I used the word water so much in this, I feel uncomfortable. We were both grinning at each other when we heard clapping behind us. I turned around and looked at Joe and Kevin clapping. They walked up to us and sat down. That's a great song, said Kevin. Thanks, me and Nick said at the same time. Suddenly a light rain started to fall from the sky. Groaning, we packed up everything and ran to my house. By the time we got inside the house, there was a downpour. You guys want some hot chocolate? They nodded, so I went into the kitchen to make it. Okay, I'm gonna finish here. So if you guys read any embarrassing fan fiction when you were younger, tell me in the comments below, because I want to know that I'm not alone. I just feel embarrassed right now and just sad about my life. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!